Hi, this is uh, meditation number two. Uh, earlier this evening, I was in the bookstore. Sorry, it's about midnight. I was in the bookstore and I saw a sign that said meditation, you know, as a section. I thought, well, that's a sign. So I set the meditation up. I think early on in that, I apologize because there was a speaker over my head, the store was playing, you know, their music. And uh, I do these on Facebook Live, and then I download them to the PC, and then I upload them to YouTube, where I can make a playlist, and people can uh, find the meditations without uh, a great deal of trouble finding them. You know, Facebook doesn't make it easy to search things, especially considering I post these to... Uh, private group on Facebook. So anyway, uh, I was informed that uh, the audio didn't come out and I checked when I rewatched it on Facebook and I watched the download on my computer from Facebook, the audio was there. Um, but uh, on YouTube there wasn't. Uh, but my email had a copyright claim from YouTube uh, saying that, you know, in probably just in an automated sense, the owner of the copyright of one of the songs that happened to be playing on the overhead had decided that uh, they would opt to mute anybody's reuse of their song. That's not the sort of thing, the kind of IP copyright stuff I don't know all that much about, but figure I can relens a brief version of that. And so, uh, Luckily, I have a library here at the farm, uh, which uh, let's see if I can uh, find the right light, which actually extends uh, up into the stairway. So. We will uh, head back into the library proper here. And uh, we'll take a look at what we have in the library. Hmm. And we have uh, the. Uh, philosophy section here and uh, I think we were in the meditation section uh, uh, tonight in the bookstore and there's our, there's our meditation section here and so we can kind of use that as a uh, as an option, I suppose, while we're in here, we can show you a little section of author friends. Uh, you might be able to see your own book in there. I think these are all people that have uh, given me the pleasure of knowing them and knowing them through their books. So, uh, I didn't rewatch the video. Enough detail to remember exactly what I'd said. So we're not going to try and precisely repeat it, but the general idea was that I was in a store. I could be interrupted, asked to leave. Somebody else could come in. The music, of course, was a, a problem at the time. I didn't know it would be a secondary problem. And I said, well, I'm in this public space. If I just start, you know moving in a meditative way or sitting in an eerily meditative way perhaps uh, it might not go over all that well so and so you know we can look at meditation as uh, coming into conscious presence so that You are where you are. And even if where you are is uh, a 
place like a bookstore for me anyway, you know, brings your, uh, everything invites you to think about something else and have an emotion and have a memory and have a thought. So uh, it's very easy, at least for somebody like me, to have your mind just get drawn out of the body, invited out of the body, encouraged out of the body because of the books. But what we want to be able to do is come into conscious presence with our now, with the way we are at this moment. Even if our mind goes to other places, really the way that we want to do it in a meditative sense is not have your mind leave your body, but to have your mind and heart remaining in the body and expanding beyond the body. So that as I look at this title, and I look at that book title, and then I think of that book title, and I remember where I got that book, and I remember somebody who loves that book, and I find this book and that book. It's really my uh, conscious connection to my present now and an expanded inner self. Here's, uh, here's the shelf I made for Red Pine. I don't know. I don't know if you better read it or not, but I don't know. Shelf for Red Pine. That's Bill's works on that. So, we're just, just going to do that together. I'll see if I can uh, balance the phone on a few George Carlin books. <laughs> um, just as in the bookstore, uh, we will uh, stand near the meditation section and uh, sort of a, a Zen section here, and a meditation and Qigong section here. So. Uh, That's where, oh, that's a Ben Lowe lectures here. There's, that's some good stuff. And I suppose I should, I should uh, offer to sell my own stuff while I'm here because I'm, see a stack of my DVDs. <laughs> so, anyway, the practice is to more fully inhabit this now. Even if during this now, my mind is going somewhere else. Or that's colloquially speaking, right? The practice is to let your mind expand from the now to elsewhere. And not leave the now. So it's a broadening of the now. Coming into a conscious presence, cultivating a more perfected presence. Expanding away from the now or remaining in the now. can be a nice uh, sort of cardiological cartographic council help you find your way to the now so 
So I laid the same practice, investing in an expanded awareness within the now, a deeper and truer relationship to now. when you're invited elsewhere. So that your mind doesn't have to leave the now to connect to other than now. And that's all for now.